Okay. And then I got pencils on my bed. Seriously, I got pencils. Um, this is a review on that dollar store. Let me close this up. Okay, remember that dollar store doll I got? Got it from Dollar Tree. Well, I opened this up and I kind of looked at it. And there was one thing I've noticed about it. It was something in the same sort of box that Barbie. Um, I don't know what kind of Barbie comes in this, but um, I seen it in like Publix, these grocery store Barbies. I mean, like real Barbie doll, and they'll come in these little box, and it just be just like a plain doll. Anyway, she came in a very beautiful box. Very beautiful. Normally, you get something from the dollar store. It comes in like a little, you know, it comes in some, a package like this. Just cardboard and a piece of plastic over and stuff like that. So, it's pretty amazing that the box itself. I have to grab her by her hand. Now, off the bat, she looked like those dolls I used to have in the 80s. That, you know, cheap plastic doll where if you move the arm the wrong way, it'll right off, you know. Um, this dress, I don't know if you can tell. I don't know what sort of fabric it's made out of. But this dress, it's not cheap. This is not like a cheap made dress. I've, I've seen some dresses, they look like somebody had taken a remnant, just a piece of fabric and... Sewing it to another piece of fabric and slapped it on a doll. As you can tell, maybe we get some better light in here. As you can tell, her makeup, her makeup is pretty even. I mean, she's got that sort of Barbie face. I know this don't do justice in it, but if you ever seen her, she got a pretty Barbie face. She's got the hair. I don't know why she's moving. The hair feels... Well, this part is smooth. The hair feels sort of like that nylon Barbie type hair. Whatever Barbie made out of it. It feels like doll hair. It's not smooth and natural like, you know, uh, la uh, la 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 I'm pretty sure if I undo this rubber band, that girl will be bald right under here. Just be a little slap of hair right around the top. Because you can sort of see it. The dress, apparently you cannot take it off without actually cutting it off. Uh, let's see. There's no snaps on the back. There's no... Yeah, see there's no snaps. That's just I'm trying to hold this in this. It's just a little fabric piece right there. This is not Velcro off, so you would have to kind of cut this off or pop her head off and pull it off and all that. But it's a pretty, like, very snazzy looking dress. Now, the, her body frame, her body frame kind of, I don't know what it is. It reminds me of a transvestite that I met one time. A very nice lady. Um, her name was Bella. <laughs> met her going to, uh, met her on the way going to Louisiana. I think I was in, I think I was in Louisiana at that time. I don't remember. But anyway, her body, like right here in the hips, it, the hip part kind of reminds me of a man's hip. I don't know. How to describe it, it's like when you look at her body up close, this hip part sort of screams out, it's a man. But my favorite part about it are these. The shoes, I'm going to roll over on the side. Mm. These shoes are remarkable. They are beautiful. I love those shoes. I have no idea if she will fit any of my dolls, but those shoes are just beautiful. 
And there's another thing. I don't know what it is. Maybe somebody here can tell me. And I'm gonna make this a little last bit of a segment. These real like dollar store cheapo plastic doll, not hard plastic, but this sort of cave in plastic. What is that noise? I thought maybe it was her shoes clacking together, her feet. So I held on to her feet like this. Thought, okay, take her shoes off. Thought maybe it was her hair or her head. There's something inside her body. Somewhere, like right around, I don't you can't see this, but somewhere like right around here. Oh, it's in a chest cavity. Anybody know what that is? Why these cheap dogs got that? Anyway, if you know what it is, let me know. But, you know, like I said, this is a very, I don't want to say high quality dog. This isn't a monster high. Oh, honey, have some shame. I'll say it like that. But this is a very, <laughs> not the shoes off. This is a very high quality, well, not high quality quality, but a higher quality than most dollar store dolls are. And um, you can take these sort of dolls right here. Ooh, close the lady, she passed out. You can take a doll like this, remove the dress, remove the arms and limbs, pop that head off, and you can have a doll form for other dolls' clothes. You can take the head off and put it onto another doll. Oh, yeah. And uh, something else. She's got holes in her ears for earrings. I don't know what that is. Anyway, no name, so I can't really tell you what it is other than dollar store fashion doll. But, um, yeah. it's a nice, nice little cheap old doll. And like I say, the box reminds me of those cheap Barbies that you get. So anyway, this is a review. Close up. And, uh, bye-bye.